Welcome to my channel, my name is Rebecca Ruiz. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the process to create this layout most week using the Simple Vintage Scary Stories collection by Simple Stories. This is a Halloween collection. I'm not a Halloween person, so I'm using photos of a friend. She was dressed as a witch and her son was in a Star Wars character. The colors in the photos match perfectly with this collection because they have blue and black and the white and gray, so it's a perfect match. I'm using three photos. I matted the smaller photos in a color vibe dandelion cardstock, which is this yellow. I'm using this color to create contrast in the layout because if I use a darker color, they can get lost there. And the striped paper have a thin line of yellow so they coordinate with the collection. I choose pattern papers of camera, the ones that I wanted to use and cut them. And now I'm arranging them in the layout. As you can see, the colors are dark, so I'm adding this border. This is a light gray border, and it's from a pattern paper in the collection that have like spider webs and spiders. In the border, you can only see the, the spider webs design. I added it behind the craft paper, and then I centered the craft paper and added it to the layout. The black paper, it's also from the collection. It has like wood grain texture. And previously, before starting this page in the video, I had another idea and I cut the paper. This is why you see a gap now because they, are, they were not longer as I needed them for this page. But I repurposed them and here they are. The biggest photo is matte in a chipboard frame from the collection. This chipboard already have the title, so I'm using it as the title of my page. And I'm arranging the photos. Right now, they are all at, at the same height. I choose some die cut pieces and stickers of camera to play with them to decorate the page. I like how the bats look, so I'm checking if they work. I want to use them, but I noticed that the journal die cut that I w had in the right, the one with the moon and the haunted house, was covering the blue paper. So I decided to move the papers a little bit to the left to be able to add the, the die cut in the craft paper. Now you can see it better. And I'm lifting it a little just to be sure that the viewer can see it, that it is not covered behind the frame and all the things in the layout. Now that I have it in place, you can see the photos are no longer at the same height both. I'm creating the bigger cluster on the top area of the photo. There I use the sticker with the witch. I use foam tape behind it. I use the 31, which is a chipboard, and I'm mixing bats from the foam stickers and the chipboard. And I also use three chipboard stars there in different colors. On the right side of the title, I am I'm going to use a cat. This one is a chipboard, and this hunted label that I'm adding in the photo is also from the chipboard stickers. Now you can have a better look of how I am embellishing the page with the bats and everything. I like to use foam tape behind some of my embellishment because they add dimension and create layers in the page which makes the layout more interesting and more cute. This is a die cut bat. I use liquid glue in the center and foam tape in the wings. The others are chipboard, so I only use liquid glue. I stitch a border around the craft paper and the layout is almost ready. I'm just adding some decorative brats and enamel dots in the cluster areas. I like adding those little bit of color there and the look of the 
circles from the brass and the enamel dot. It is something that I usually add to my projects because they are always cute and nice. I mix different sizes and colors of enamel dots and also mix them with the brass. I want to add some splatters so I'm diluting white acrylic paint and using a brush to add those splatters around the layout around the cluster sorry in the layout I don't want to have the splatters all over the page just in the cluster area I'm using a small brush to control the splatters the layout was ready, but I feel that it needed something else. So I cut a piece of the black paper. If I don't tell you, the black paper is from the collection. It's not cardstock and have some wood grain texture on it. And I'm backing that paper with the same gray paper that I use for the border, for the scallop border. I'm adding some staples there to give the metal look and to secure the paper. I'm, I'm repeating the same on the top edge. I use the scissor to cut it a little bit, but also tear the paper. And now I'm backing it with the paper. I'm using the paper from the six by eight pad because the spiders in the paper are smaller. If I use the 12 by 12, I will not have the complete spider shown in there so this is why I'm using the 6x8 paper in those area and to complement the theme of the spiders and the Halloween and everything in the page I'm adding some spiders in those area I'm using foam tape the spiders are die cuts and they look like they are coming from that gray paper to the layout so it was very fun this is how the page turned out. It was so much fun creating it. I love how it looks. And if you like it too and you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. If you want to follow me in social media, all the links are in the description box. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye.